is the sixth lecture of our example number one, which is the design of foot over bridge. Okay. So in the last lecture, we will discuss about the design of top core member, and after that, we will discuss about the forces on bottom core member. So students, in the first five lecture, we have to discuss about our step number one, two. So step number nine. So you can see that our step number one is geometry of lattice girder. Step number two is design of cross beam. Okay. Now what is the meaning of cross beam? So cross beam is generally our supported beam which is at the bottom core support. Okay. Next is step number three. Step number three is check for moment capacity. Okay. So generally you have to select a section in such a way that your maximum shear force and maximum bending moment which is generated on the cross beam is safer or not. So you have to check for shear capacity and moment capacity in step number 4 and step number 3. Okay. So after that we have to start our main sections design which is our main section is top core member bottom core member, vertical member and diagonal member. So whenever you have to start your main members design, your first term is to find out loads on the main members. So in the fifth step, we have to start the load on main members. Okay. After the calculation of the load on main members, we have to complete our step number six, which is the analysis of latex cutter in which we have to give the name of all the junctions like U0, U1, U2. U indicate for upper and L indicate for lower. Okay, so this is your step number 6. After that, we have to start our step number 7 which is the forces on the top board and after the completion of the step number 7, we have to start our design. So your step number 8 is design of top core member. Okay. And in the last lecture we have to complete our step number 9 which is the forces on bottom core. So let us revise. In the step number 9 our name of this step is forces on bottom core. Now you can see that this is your bottom core. Bottom core means L0, L1, L1, L2. L2, L3 and L3, L4. After the L4 junctions, our foot over bridge is the symmetric figure. Okay. So now you can see that your first member is L0, L1 and from top board member, the next member is takes maximum force. It means your top member is U0, U1 and in U0, U1, your U1 member takes maximum load. And similar way in the bottom core member it is L0 L1 but in L0 L1 the least member which is the behind member which is L0 takes maximum force so you can see that in our influence line diagram this is your our first members influence line diagram which is L0 L1 now from L0 L1 L0 point takes maximum force so we have to draw a one influence line diagram with respect to L0. Now the influence line diagram's equation is A into L minus A divided by L into H. Now what is the A? So A means the distance from the 0, 0 level. Okay. So you can see that your L0 is exactly at the 0, 0 point. So if we are putting the value of A is equal to 0, then the influence line diagram's value is equal to 0. That's why we have to draw a straight line for our first member which is L0, L1. Next is L1, L2 member and from L1, L2 member our least it means our behind member which is L1 which takes maximum force. So you can see that our L1 which is takes maximum force. So this is our maximum influence line diagram's value. And the similar equation will be put down in this equation.
equation so you can see that our value of a is equal to 3 meter because our panel length in this foot over bridge is 3 meter l means span of bridge which is equal to 24 meter a is 3 meter l which is 24 meter and h h means height of this vertical members and the height of this vertical member is also 3 meter so students after putting all this value we will get our answer 0 0.875 now there is two possibilities in this influence line diagram first what possibility is like this that we have to draw our influence line diagram in the upper portion like this but this negative sign indication is most important because this is our through type of foot over bridge and in through type of foot over bridge our top code member takes compression force and bottom code member takes tension force and you all know that tension means negative signs so that's why we have to draw this negative sign in this influence line diagram second possibility is that you have to draw your influence line diagram in minus x axis it means you have to draw like this okay so this is two possibilities to draw this influence line diagram next member is l2 l3 and the similar calculations like from l2 l3 your behind portion is l2 so for l2 your value of a is equal to 6 so if we are putting the value of a is equal to 6 in this equation then we have to write down and we have to put down the 1.5 okay and the similar calculation for the fourth member which is l3 l4 so from l3 l4 your maximum force is acting at the l4 l3 point so for l3 point our maximum influence line diagram value is 1.875 okay so students this is the influence line diagram for bottom force okay now we have to find out forces and you all know that all the data remain same so the equation of force is remain same it is area of influence line diagram into total udl now you can see that this all the influence line diagrams having the triangular shape and the area of triangular is one half base and altitude okay so you can see that we have to put down one half base altitude for all the four members say for example it is one half base is 24 meter because the span of bridge is 24 meter and altitude so you can see that in this first figure your influence line diagrams having the maximum value is equal to zero so our altitude value is zero over here okay and udl udl which is calculated in our step number five okay so it is 26.6 so students after putting all this value we will get our four answers 0 279.3 478.8 and 598.5 now we have to design any structural component for maximum force so you can see that our maximum force is 598.5 kN so in the next step which is our step number 10 which is design of bottom code in which we have to design our bottom code member for maximum force which is equal to 598.5 km so you all know that the design of bottom code is as per design of tension member so students your design of tension members in which you have to find out three values first one is the strength governed due to yielding second one is strength governed due to rupture and third one is strength governed due to block shear okay so you all the students are moved to page number 32 in highest order provisions in which it is clearly mentioned that section 6 design of tension member in which the clause number 6.2 says that design strength due to yielding of cross section okay so you can see that in this equation the equation is tdg is equal to agfy divided by gamma n0 it means 
first of all we have to find out that for sustain this force how much area will be required okay so first of all we have to find out the minimum area required to sustain this force okay so you can see that we have to use tvg is equal to agfy divided by gamma m0 in which first of all we have to find out ag ag means gross area gross area means total area okay so if we are made ag is our subject then our equation is tvg into gamma m0 divided by fy so the equation's value is the equation the value of tdg tdg means design tensile force so this equation's value is 598.5 but you can see that your t is in kilonewton so we have to convert kilonewton to newton so it is 10 raised to 3 okay not 103 it is 10 raised to 3 now gamma m0 is our partial safety factor and the value of partial safety factor is always 1.10 which is given on page number 30 and the value of fy which is your yield stress and yield stress is 250 so students after putting all this value we will get our answer 2633.4 mm square it means we have to require minimum 2633.4 mm square to sustain 598.5 kN force. Okay. Now we have to provide it of area greater than the required area. So from the steel table, we have to select a section in such a way that our required area is greater than. Okay. So this is our trial and error section. So, in trial and error session, we have to set our section of 125 cross 75 cross 8. This is ISA, Indian Standard Angle. So, we have to choose two Indian Standard Angle, 125 cross 75 cross 8 mm on both the side of cassette plate. And the longer leg is our horizontal, it means shorter leg is connected. But you have to also select your section in such a way that your longer leg is connected to gusset plate. Now you can see that from the steel table that your area of 125 cross 75 cross 8 is 1538 for single IS angle. But we have to use two IS angles so our total area provided is 3076. Okay. So your 3076 is greater than 2633.8. Now we have to check that our selected section is okay or not for our selected section which takes minimum 598.58 load or not. Okay. So now there are three checks in this design of bottom board. Okay. So our first check is the strength governed by yielding of cross section in which we have to use similar equation but in this equation now we have to provide it this AG. AG is now our AG provided. So you can see that your AG provided is 3076 into 250 divided by 1.1. So students after calculating all the data our answer is 699.09. It means our selected section takes 699.09 kN load which is greater than our minimum or maximum load which is 598.8. Okay. So this is the completion of our check number 1. Our check number 2 is from page number 33 which is strength governed due to rupture. And from rupture you can see that this is our trial and error section. So you can see that on page number 33, it is clearly mentioned that for preliminary sizing, okay, this is not our final size. So we have to go to preliminary size in which the equation is TDN is equal to alpha AN FU divided by gamma M1. Okay, so students in this equation, you all know that your FU FU means ultimate stress of plate which is 410 mega pascal 
and gamma m1 which is the partial safety factor which is given on page number 31 okay sorry page number 30 so it is 1.25 so in this equation you all aware about two values first one is f u is equal to 410 and second one is gamma m1 is equal to 1.25 now we have to find out another two value which is alpha and a n so what is the value of alpha so you can see that in this equation the value of alpha is depend on number of gold required to sustain this force okay so first of all we have to find out number of gold required in this sustainable force so there is no any clarification regarding the diameters of gold so whenever there is no any clarification regarding the diameter of gold then you have to choose 20 mm diameters okay and if we are using two indian standard angle back to back so it is double shear okay this 20 mm diameter bolt is in double shear so for the strength of this bolt value for double shear it is 90.6 kilo newton it means if we are providing one bolt then it takes 90.6 kilo newton force okay so first of all we have to find out number of bolt required so it is 598.8 which is our maximum force divided by bolt value so it is 6.60 number of bolts so we have to provide it 7 bolts okay now you can see that for 7 bolts you can see that the value of alpha is 0 0.8 for 4 or more bolt so in this data we have to provide it 7 bolts it means our value of alpha is 0 0.8 okay so our value of alpha is 0 0.8 now an now what is AN? AN means net area. It means total area minus whole area. So two indicates we have to use two Indian standard angles. So it is two. Now what is 75 minus 22? So from 125 cross 75 cross 8 in which our shorter leg is connected to the set plate in which this is our shorter leg. So the shorter legs height is 75 but from 75 we have to use 20 mm diameter bolt. So if we are using 20 mm diameter of bolt then the size of hole is 22 mm which is from IS codal provision from page number 73. Okay. So this is 75 minus 22 into 8. 8 means thickness. Okay. Plus what is 117 so from 125 which is our longer leg 8 mm is already considered so it is 117 mm okay so it is 117 into 8 so after calculating all the data our an is 2720 mm square okay so students after putting all this value we will get our answer of tdn is 713.73 kilo newton okay there is a unit error so it is 713.73 kN which is greater than 598.5 kN ok now the third check is strength governed due to block shear so in block shear equation there is two values two equations are there and from two equations and from two values your smaller value will be your final answer and this your smaller value is also required your maximum force which is 598.5 km okay so in the block shear calculations first of all we have to find out two values first is pitch distance pitch distance means center to center distance between the bolts and second one is end distance end distance is the distance at which we have to put or we have to provide it first bolt okay so you can see that pitch distance equation is 2.5 into d which is given on page number 73 okay so 2.5 into d d means diameter of bolt so it is 20 so we will get our answer 50 mm 
and second one is minimum edge distance which is 1.8 into d0 and this equation is given on page number 74 so 1.7 is constant and d0 d0 is diameter of hole and it is clearly mentioned that already that if we are used 20 mm bolt then we have to provide it 22 mm hole okay so it is 37.4 mm now it means we have to provide it our first bolt at 37.4 mm but for safer side we have to provide it for 40 mm so you can see that this is our 40 mm distance and this is our 50 mm which is the center to center distance between two bolts so you can see that this is our third check which is the design strength due to block shear in which these two equations are there so you can see that from these two equations it is clearly mentioned that the block shear strength it is denoted by tdb for connection shall be taken as smaller value of these two value okay so you can see that in these two equations only four unknowns are there first one is avg which is your unknown because the value of fy is 250 root 3 is constant gamma m0 is 1.1 point 0.9 is constant atl is your unknown fu is 410 gamma m1 is 1.25 similarly in the second equation another two unknowns 0.9 is constant avn is your unknown fu is your 410 root 3 is constant gamma m1 is 1.25 atg is your another unknown fy is 250 and gamma m0 is 1.1 so if this four unknown is calculated then we have to solve these two equations okay so now let us start our first unknown which is avg now what is avg so avg means area of shear or it is also called as shear gross area so in which you have to calculate the distance from this end to the last end center so what is the distance so first of all this distance is called as pitch distance so one pitch two three four five and six there is six pitch distance so it is six into fifty plus one edge distance it is forty so this distance is six into fifty plus forty but we have to find out area now what is the thickness of plate so the thickness of plate is 8 so it is 2720 mm square okay there is an error in the equation it is in mm square okay so this is the calculation of avg next is avn avn means net area so we have to deduct the area of the hole so your gross area is 2720 in which you can see that from this end to this center you have to consider 6.5 holes okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 6.5 so it is 6.5 into the one area the area of one hole is 22 into 8 because 22 is the width and 8 is the thickness so it is 6.5 into 22 into 8 so students after calculating all the data your value of avn is 1576 mm square so this is the clarification of two unknown another two unknown is atg and atn and you all know that atg g for cross and t for tension and upper portion takes tension force so from center to upper portion is 40 percentage of connected leg so if this length is 75 mm this this is your 60 percentage it is called as gauge distance okay so the 60 percentage of 75 is around 45 but in this example we have to take 40 
you can also take 45 or upper portion is 30 okay so this distance is 40 and this distance is 35 now upper portion takes the tensile force so it is 35 into 8 8 means the thickness so your ATG's answer is 280 mm square okay and ATN ATN means area of net area of tension so whenever we have to take upper half portion then we have to see is from side view and whenever you have to show from side view there are only first bolt is seen the behind bolt is not seen in that figure so you have to deduct only half of the force and half of the hole so it is 280 minus 0 0.5 into 22 into 8 so it is 192 mm square okay so students after putting all this value we have to find out two answers tdb1 and tdb2 this is your tdb1 and this is your TB, tdb2 so you can see that your from both the answer your minimum answer is 664.47 which is also greater than our maximum force which is 598.5 so you can see that our all the three checks this is safe this is also safe and our third answer is also safe it means our selected section is passed in all the stage so you can write down like this provide this section to Indian standard 125 cross 75 cross 8 mm back to back connected with the set plate with longer leg or shorter leg connected with the set plate okay so students this is the end of our today's session in the next lecture we have to start our design of vertical member and first of all we have to start forces on vertical member okay so students this is the end of our today's session thank you